Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video we're gonna tell you how the cast of Battlestar Galactica 1978 has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1978 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were in this TV series. Alright, let's go. Richard Hatch in the TV series he played Captain Apollo. He was 33 years old in 1978, and it was with great sadness that Hash died on February 7, 2017 of pancreatic cancer, while in hospice care in Los Angeles at the age of 71. We could replace the turbo lasers and three of our Vipers with mega pressure pumps from the damaged Energizer, fill them with Boraton, and connect them to the firing mechanism. And so, uh, I honestly didn't know what to say. You know, he thought, well, you couldn't make the, you couldn't make this trailer without having the movie, and you must own it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. Lorne Green in the TV series he plays Adama. In 1978, he was 63 years old, and it was with great sadness that Green died on September 11, 1987, at the age of 72 from complications of pneumonia. At least I think I did. <laughs> I hope you recommend Boomer for decoration. He pulled them all through. So why don't we... Why don't we say, listen, where are you from, St. Louis? Great. How about staying with us for a week? Herbert Jefferson Jr. in the TV series, he plays Lieutenant Boomer. In 1978, he was 32 years old, and now he's 76 years old. Starbuck had to crash land. But he did land. Yes. Where? Attila. It's a planet on the far edge of Omega Sector. <laughs> and I just happen to be, you know, an actor that amongst maybe 25 or 30 who, in, who uh, auditioned for the piece. Dirk Benedict in the TV series, he plays Lieutenant Starbuck. In 1978, he was 33 years old, and now he's 77 years old. How far away is she? <sighs> Too far. It's gonna be a while before a rescue party can get here for me. I, uh... I'm afraid you're stuck with me for a bit. Oh my God, because I was older. I was about six, seven years older than them, and I didn't dress right. They could just smell, you know, square. You know, they could smell I wasn't one of them. You could tell. John Colicos in the TV series, he plays Count Baltar. He was 50 years old in 1978, and it was with great sadness that Colicos passed away in Toronto on March 6, 2000, age 71, after a series of heart attacks. See here, Spectre. Use it well. By your command. The Spectre seems to have done rather well for an early model. At one point in time is, is rapidly becoming science fact. And uh, I was just watching a show the other night about Hyman Rickover and, and the atomic Nautilus. Loris Spang in the TV series, she plays Cassiopeia. In 1978, she was 27 years old and now she's 71 years old. Contact between genders, except when sanctified by the priest during high worship of the sunstorm, which comes once only every seven years. I'll come home and I'll say, I'll say I, I, I don't like what Eric's doing, you know, and, and but we have great conversations about it. Yeah. Noah Hathaway in the TV series, he played the role of Boxy. In 1978, he was seven years old, and now he's 51 years old. Blue jackets, jackets with horns, jackets with curly tails. The best jacket of them all was Sire Muffy. The story is he did out Moscow on the Hudson. So we had dinner and hang out, yeah. and he gave me his, the Mork suspenders I still have somewhere. It's just amazing. You know, we were friends for a long time. Terry Carter, in the TV series, he played Colonel Ty. In 1978, he was 50 years old, and now he's 93 years old. Something important has happened. The recon patrol? It's what you felt all along, sir. The Cylons have penetrated more deeply than we expected. Our patrol was ambushed. Very badly. It was in all the papers, variety and everything. Mm -hmm. But along comes this guy. He had nothing to do. He didn't do it for them. He didn't do it with them. Anne Lockhart in the TV series, she plays Lieutenant Sheba. In 1978, she was 25 years old, and now she's 69 years old. Are you all right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think maybe we're dead. I did Battlestar Galactica. 
I was doing voices on Thundar the Barbarian <laughs> and, and Spider-Man and his amazing friends in the 70s. Tony Swartz in the TV series he played flight surgeon Jolly. He was 35 years old in 1978 and sadly passed away on September 27, 2016 at the age of 73. Boomer, we don't have time to explain. Jolly, go get another chamber and drop it off next to the bacteria trap where you'll find this one parked. And then wait for all Hades to break loose when you hear those engines fire. Got it. Marin Jensen in the TV series she plays Lieutenant Athena. In 1978, she was 22 years old and now she's 66 years old. Good. Now, we aren't talking about things that are large enough for us to see, are we? If you'll all remember when we found ourselves thrown together on this fleet for the first time. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.